Hey, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach at CommitmentConnection.com, and in today's video, we're going to talk about how to touch a guy. So how do you touch a guy if you want more physical intimacy with him? We're going to talk about that right now. So let's say that you're either seeing a guy or you're in a relationship or you're dating someone and you want to kind of bridge that gap between you guys aren't really touching each other and you want to have more physical intimacy. How do you kind of go through that progression and, and, and you know what different things are you going to do here? So I'm going to give you eight different ways that you can kind of initiate touching a guy that will make him feel more comfortable with not only touching you, but also with you touching him. So the first thing that you'll want to do is start with a hug, right? And lots of friends hug, everybody hugs uh, if they want to. And, and it's uh, not a big deal if you hug somebody, but it can also be something that kind of bridges uh, this whole thing where you're not touching somebody to actually touching them. So um, if you give a guy, like when you see a guy, you give him a hug and you're like, you know, like, let's hug. Um it'll show the guy a lot of things actually. Like it, it makes him feel like, okay, not only is it okay to hug and touch her, but it kind of feels good, right? And it's welcoming and it's warm and maybe it's something that he wants to do some more of. So number two is that you'll want to either squeeze his shoulder or squeeze his arm. And usually a good time to do this is like, uh, when you're talking about something or there's something funny and you just kind of like squeeze his arm and then take it away, right? Or you can even do it when there's no conversation. If there's like a, a lull in the conversation and you kind of want to do something flirty or uh, kind of initiate something, you can just like grab his arm or you could like grab his bicep or something, you know? Um, that That's always a fun one and, and guys love that. So number three, what you're going to do here is you're either going to touch his hand or or touch him on the back, right? And uh, this this kind of takes it uh, even one step deeper in what you're doing, right? Like touching him on the hand. Guys love that. Guys love it when a girl touches him on the hand if, if he likes her, if he's into her, if he's dating her, if he's in a relationship with her. Um, it, it just feels good, you know? It feels like, oh, I, I like you. I'm interested in you. And it's doing it in a nonverbal way. So you don't even really have to say anything. And it, it kind of... Um, increases his feeling of intimacy with you just by doing that. So number four is that you're going to uh, kind of just give him a light smack, right? And you'll want to do this when uh, there's something funny going on or um, he's like uh, you're, you're in a conversation or he says something that's sarcastic or he says something that is kind of like naughty or bad or something, you'll want to smack him on the arm and kind of laugh a little. Now, don't smack him too hard. You don't want to hurt this guy. Um, and a, a lot of times women don't realize um, how, uh, how you know, what it feels like when they're hitting a guy, right? They're like, oh, he can take it. But, you know, maybe he, he doesn't want you to, you know, hit him hard or whatever. So just smack him lightly on the arm, you know, and kind of laugh. And, uh, uh, it'll, or you can like, uh, hit him like kind of like smack him on the knee or something like that. That's even a more kind of an intimate place to hit him is either like on the shoulder or, uh, or like in the elbow or like on the knee. Um, and the knee's more intimate. What you're kind of saying here when you do this is kind of like, uh, you know, stop it or, uh, no, I, I'm just kidding. Keep on going. Cause I kind of like it right? Which is kind of this push-pull kind of playing with his, his emotions type of a thing, which can be really, tr really, really attractive if you do it in the right way. So number five is touching his chest, right? And so this is kind of moving it even deeper into the intimacy space, right? Because it's a, it's kind of a, um, uh, it's it like a man's chest is like this place where uh, he, um, uh, it's a, it's almost like this defensive guard for him, right? Where he's like, um, you know, if he's a man, right? You get punched in the chest. It's like, you know, that's where a man takes it. Um, but for a woman to like, you know, put her finger there, right? It's, it's kind of this sensual kind of sexual, almost like uh, really intimate, like, um, you know, I'm allowed in this kind of defensive, strong space 
that you have as a man right here in your chest. And it, it's to a guy, it's it's so hot. It's really, really, it's really hot if you you like take your finger and you just like you know touch him in his in his chest. And if you want to amplify the whole touch to the chest thing a little bit, you can say something like, wow, you're so strong, right? And it <laughs> it just makes him feel good. It makes him feel like a man. It makes him feel manly, uh, it, which is a really, really great thing for a man to feel. He wants to feel manly, especially when he's around a woman. And that'll allow him to kind of open up a little bit more to you. So number six that I'm going to give you here is uh, putting your arm around him. And so this is... Uh, this is kind of almost taking a step back a little bit because what you're doing here is it's it's kind of like a, a friendship type of thing, which is good because uh, if you're, um, it doesn't matter if you're seeing a guy or you're dating a guy or you're in a relationship, uh, when you put your arm around him and you're, you're kind of like we're buddies type of a thing, it's kind of this pull back. But at the same time, it's it's a um, it's it's a deeper level of connection into the the friendship space. Which uh, if if you are just dating him at the time, uh, could be a little bit confusing with for him. But it's actually really really good because it's like uh, that that kind of confusion um, uh, kind of breaks whatever thought that he had was going on with you, which uh, can actually amplify the attraction that he has for you. So number seven here is actually like messing with his hair a little bit. And you want to be kind of careful about this. If, if a guy just got a haircut and, uh, he, you know, it's, it's kind of in place or whatever, um, he might not want you to mess with his hair, uh, you know, but if he's in a space where he doesn't care about that or whatever, um, or, and, and even if he did just get a haircut and it's in place, he might still not care. It kind of depends on the guy, really. Um, but it, it can be kind of a flirty, fun thing to do. You might want to kind of test it and see uh, what he does when you, you know, kind of touch his hair. If he, like, kind of yanks back a little bit, you might want to pull away and, and kind of stop that. But if he doesn't, um, it can be a really, really uh, kind of relaxing and uh, uh, powerful thing for a guy because there's this there's this thing with guys right where women can kind of calm them down they can kind of like take a guy all of his energy that he has you know that he's moving towards something and he she can just like bring him down and make him relax and make him feel good and make him feel calm and to a man that's incredibly nurturing and so uh, one of the ways that a woman can do that is by touching touching his head, right? Touching his scalp and even kind of like with her fingernails, kind of um, rubbing his scalp a little bit with her fingernails. That can be an incredibly soothing and relaxing thing to a man. And it can feel in, like really, really nurturing, which will make him feel a lot closer to you and feel like uh, you're kind of that n nurturing energy in his life, which is feminine, which is really powerful, especially if he's a masculine man. So number eight, so this one is actually not as much touching as it is kind of feeling, right? And it's the inner ear. And so what you want to do here is find a reason to whisper to him, right? Tell him that you're, you want to tell him something and then pull him down and kind of whisper into his ear and uh, whispering into, there, there's a, like a primal biological Thing for this. Um, every once in a while, you, you'll get someone who isn't kind of aroused or turned on by this, but most people, men and women, are real, like they love it when uh, a person that they're into whispers into their ear. It's like this sensual, sexual, like intimate thing, right, that you got going on. There's a little bit of taboo in there as well because it's like, oh, I'm telling you something that I don't want anybody else to hear. And you can do it anytime, anywhere that you are. You can do it um, if you're alone by yourselves. You can do it when you're in a kind of a crowded space or like a party or something. Uh, you, you can do it when you're out at a restaurant. It doesn't matter. Uh, but it's really a, a sensual and powerful thing that a woman can can do is just you know tell a guy that something into his whisper something into his ear and you might even want to linger there for a second and kind of take a breath um it, it can be really 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 powerful so try doing that thanks for watching this video if you're ready to know exactly what to say and do to attract the man and the relationship you've always wanted 
click on the button on the right hand side of this video and go to our website.